hi and welcome back to another video i have to hide myself in this corner because this place is very windy anyway columns are a very essential part of almost every building the type of it the size of it where it is supposed to be situated among others now i currently find myself in the volta region of ghana so Gakope to be precise and as you can see this is a building over here so this is a two-bedroom house and suits that each room having a washroom to them and then also there is a, a corridor as well as a hall and then a kitchen and then a porch in front and then also at the back of the house my purpose of being here is to help correct a structural challenge that this building is having so this has to do with it's not having columns within the actual building yes i'm sure you may be asking why is that even possible yes so uh, people do construct buildings without the um, introducing the columns in them which i must say is a very bad practice now when i got to know about this i decided to find out why this is so and i realized that this was as a result of the building design that was done um, apparently the person who did the design wasn't an architect or is it a professional architect so they decided to just put everything together so the masons or the people working on it also decided to strictly go according to their plan which uh, isn't also the best because as a professional once you know what is right sometimes you have to uh, suggest talk about it or insist that it has to be done anyway so well this has already been done it's already got into lentil level and when i came over i noticed that i I had to inform the owner that this isn't good um some of the challenges this building is likely to face without columns or pillars as cracks aside cracks uh, crack, aside cracks the uh, chances of it collapsing is also high because there isn't anything actually holding it um you know firm to you know prevent any um disaster so you know this should tell you that columns play a very important role in almost every building you know holding the building together uh, making a firm among others so what we are currently doing now is um cutting the walls the section where we intend to introduce um pillars so we have 10 sections in all um to each corner we have four pillars going to go in there and then into the middle part of the house we're going to have to go in there unfortunately for us they've already also cast the uh, lentil part so this means that after cutting um the masons will have to chisel the the concrete that you've cast on top of the lentil and then installing the iron rods or the steel before you know they cast the um, entire pillars or columns again so that is why i'm here and um, that is what we are currently doing so you see some footage of the cutting ongoing you also get to see some aerial shots of what is uh, the building looks like and um, what it's going to look after you know columns are introduced into it so that is just uh, about it for this video in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell and uh, so that anytime there's any video you get to see it i also like to hear from you if you've seen buildings without columns well i've seen a couple of them um some bigger ones some smaller ones but i also like to hear from you your experiences with columns or um, with buildings which have been got columns so thank you very much for watching bye for now